I made up a game. Or you can trade in for Skittles. She I'm gets two. All these for the yeah. Game teaches the power of sacrifice and teaches the power of compound interest. You got 11 groups, Branson? Yeah. How many groups do you guys have? 26. That's very much like real life. That's not fair. How come he gets... Because he's... Here we go. You want candy? How many do you want? So I made up the game that went like this. There's 21 rounds, and you get a kernel of corn every round placed in a cup in front of you. Every round I go round one, I put a kernel of corn into your cup. At the end of the round, you can make choices with that kernel of corn. You can do whatever it is you want. You can trade them in for candy corn. I'm getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or you can put them on your plate, you can do whatever you want, okay? Here's the one, one thing. Yeah, how many groups do you have right now, Hazel? Now at the end of the game, there's no more rounds, so you can trade in if you want. If you have three kernels of corn at the end of a round, can equal one candy corn. If you have three kernels of corn, you can trade them in for one. Okay, I'll, Hazel's I'll got five, so she gets two. Seven kernels of corn equals three candy corn. That means you get bonus for saving your kernels of corn. So you're just like, sale, sale. Yeah, it's buy. like a sale. It's like, hey, well, I've saved these up so that I can buy Friday. three candy corns, right? But the fact that it's just more of a temptation to consume those. If you have five kernels of corn and you choose to put them on the plate, in front of your cup, I'll not only give you a kernel of corn in your cup, but also give you one on your plate. So for every bunch of five, you get one extra one per round. Make your choices. Round 16. Okay, round one, I put one kernel of corn in everybody's cup. This is round one, everybody's got one. I said, does anybody want to do anything? I'm like, we can't do anything. We only have one kernel of corn. Okay, great. Round two. This is easy, you don't want to do anything. Okay. One kernel of corn in their cup. Round three, one kernel of corn in each cup, right? Most of the kids took three kernels of corn, took it out of their, their cup, they handed it to me and got one candy corn. I'll try okay, three. Candy okay, three. Okay. Which they promptly ate, they consumed the candy corn, which is great, right? Fine. So they go, next round, one kernel of corn. Anybody want to do anything? Next round, one kernel of corn. So now, the first people had five, and there was a couple people that did this. They took that five, they put the five kernels of corn as a group on the plate in front of them. So when we went to that next round, round six, they put a kernel of corn in everybody's cup, and everybody that had a group of five kernels on their plate, I placed one more on top of that. Three candy corn for turn. Three candy corn. We went to the next round. In round eight, does anybody want to do anything? No. Okay, round nine. Let's see. Made a cup. It's not giving you any more kernels, so I'm just gonna do it. Like six. You only get six there, my friend. That's a group. Okay, before we start round 16, make your choices. Round 16. Finally. 25. Pay the cup. Pay the cup. How many groups do you yeah, have? This was 22. Yeah. And what ultimately ended up happening, the people that got it first that decided to sacrifice and not trade in their kernels of corn for candy corn, the compounding nature of that mean, meant at the very end, round 21, after that, they traded in all their kernels of corn and got massive amounts of candy corn. You have Seven. a nice to cut yeah, 43 corn times corn. three. I don't have enough candy for that. <laughs> Left the people that have been trading in the three every time for one, I mean, eating it all the time, looked at them going, Wait a second, how did they get that much candy corn, right? It was because the sacrifice that they put in and delayed their gratification and let that stuff compound. That's very much like real life. If you can get that concept, that you have a period of sacrifice in your life. If you choose to sacrifice and delay that gratification and push that stuff forward. In fact, think to yourself right now, 21 rounds, just like I described to you, you know, the first round you got one kernel of corn, then two, then three, and then the fifth round you got five, your first opportunity to put the five in a plate to get one extra one. At the end of 21 rounds, you could end up with 145 kernels of corn. If you consumed everything, if you just took one kernel of corn in your cup every time, you'd have what? 21, right? 21 rounds, either 21 kernels of corn or 145. Well, isn't this like our paycheck? Everybody gets that paycheck, but then you decide what you want to do with that paycheck. You can take it and you can consume the whole thing. Does anybody want to do anything? Yeah, I want three candy corn. Or you may choose to live on less than that paycheck, invest that difference. Okay, you've got a group of five, you're worth one extra one. Big deal, it's just one extra one. But it's that continually doing that, there will come a time on this graph where we'll just have this compounded amazing growth where now you've got 145. Live in less than you make, don't consume everything, invest that difference, make that difference grow. And eventually, I mean, if you look, I mean, not many rounds later or not many years later, you're gonna have so much corn producing more corn that every round you can just take half of your, your, your growth and consume that and live very well and still be growing your corn piles. It would almost seem unfair if you played this game with the kids and you get into round 30 and somebody had perfect compounding and they're at round 30 now and they're like, you know what, 
I'm making an extra 100 or whatever that works out being, 100 kernels of corn every round. I'm just going to take 20 kernels of corn and trade those in every round and just compound the 80 of them. It almost be, it will, yeah. that's not fair. How come he gets so much more candy corn than us and he still has more seed corn than us? Because he sacrificed early and utilized the power of compound interest. It's not allowed, Uncle because Fix. It, it, it. Just <laughs> ate a candy you only have two. You have to wait. Till Twenty-one at one forty-five. I want to play again. So.